Hi there. Here I am again, and we had a big work day on Thursday. Granted, Eric did 95% of the work, and I filmed and supervised. I want you to check out the work that we did, but don't forget to come back because I have a shout out for a couple of fans. I asked Eric to level out the ground in the cozy corner. With the recent rain, the table and chair legs had caused some divots. I noticed there were no blooms on the lobelia, so Eric gave fish fertilizer to the flowers. Yeah. Did you fill in those holes, the mud holes? I don't have a dirt. Regular dirt. Just take some from where? Anywhere. Maybe cut in here? Yeah. Okay. My walkways are dirt, so I just had him scrape up some, which he sifted, then pounded in. Start while it's wet and muddy is the time to fix it. I'm making do with just dirt here for now, till I come up with a more permanent solution. Um, put this rock back in there. Put a stone in your bird bath so bees don't drown. That's good. This is good. Cool. One couple. Yeah, you want to take two? See? It might be a mistake, but we did it, so that's the way it goes. Next, I wanted to do some potting up. Oh no. Maybe we should have watered it. Wow, that was so compacted. For many years. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't break that bloom. Don't break the bloom. All together. I know. Problem. You better leave it like that. Yeah, I have to. Oh wow, that looks nice. Huh? Yeah, perfect. Eric had given me this blue pot, and I thought this would look really nice. I wanted some contrast, so I had him top it off with decorative rock. This is a great way to set off your succulents. I had planted a piece of cacti I picked up from the Stanford Cactus Garden, but the mother of thousands dropped its seeds and the young shoots were swallowing it up. It went into the one empty pot left. Cacti don't like a lot of water. Yep. In fact, they're so forgiving and easy to grow. That's perfect. Overwatering succulents is about the only thing that kills them. This side or this side? Uh, what side? Do it like that because then it will be less likely to fall off. Slide it back a little, just a little. Push it, yeah. Push this it. side, no, okay. Fall, fall. Okay. A little bit like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a, 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 it's a,
How you wanna be big? Like dog. Three times. One, two, three, four. Yes. Four. Every week we have to clean up raccoon poop, which makes me crazy. My friend dropped by with homemade food, and when we got back outside, Eric was covering the potato sets with soil. Oh, you got a birthday tomorrow. Uh, 65. Say, tell me what you just said again. What do you do? What you just said. You said you love. I love my my yard out to work outside. I enjoy it all the time. This. Yeah. So Eric, what have you put here? What is this? This is the the, the meal bone. Let me show bone you. Bone meal. Uh -huh. Bone meal. Oh. Bone meal. Uh, in the beginning, the in, for beginning yeah. and start in the root. Uh, did you use any compost? Uh, not yet. Oh, we can, oh, put, it, yeah. we can put it on tack. Okay. Uh, is this your homemade? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What is that? Raccoon poo poo in there. Oh no. Remember, this morning I find a couple. A whole bag. A whole bag. There's a whole bag that he raccoon. picked up back here. Must we have raccoon poo everywhere? See? See? We should have covered it up. Oh, this is the first time here all day that we haven't had the concrete mixer. That is one big... Oh, it's dead. It's dead? Yeah, okay. One big rub. Alien. <laughs> what is that uh, bubbling up there? Yeah. It's the water, the rain water. Yeah, that's going to be good. Beautiful. We put a lot of good stuff in that. This is always the fun part. I'm what? joking. Why? and then come back, and this one. I always put down fencing for raccoon protection in the back of the house, as they have designated it as a prime toilet. They go wherever they want and are unafraid. Okay, this is finished for now. And after the plants get big, we'll put some more wood chips in there. I think it, it smells bad just because of the raccoon, or? Oh, it's, uh, both, both. both. It's uh, br breaking down. Mm -hmm. They were obviously using that since we first put it there. And I forgot about it because it was out of the way. You're as likely to find poop on the roof of the studio as on the ground. Raccoon poop can carry roundworm, so don't touch it. But that compost goes all the way back to rem remember when we first made it with the seaweed? This tray of compost had just been over far enough to get rained on, and I hadn't noticed. That's good, and then if you add more water... The compost good. liquid was so intense, so we put it on the plants. I can't tell you what it means to me, especially when I'm injured, to receive so much support from my viewers. The comments have been off the charts wonderful. And I just want to give a special shout out to a new subscriber who is now watching all of my videos. And her name is Charu Shandiak. I hope I'm saying that right. She's from India, but living in Dubai. And she writes, just finished five seasons. Loved everything, especially the ones on Siloe Oliveira, my good friend at Suburban Homestead. Loved all 100 of them. You kept me literally hooked up since the day I found your channel. Even my four-year-old loves your shows, especially the ones with bugs and all your produce. And I am so excited to know that I have inspired her and anyone else. So thank you so much for your support. Remember to give that thumbs up and watch till the end of the videos and I'll see you in the next one.